Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another review. Now this time I've got a barbecue sauce and this one comes to me all the way from Australia. Uh, this is another review that I'm going to be doing for Vaughn Henry and his company Cobra Chili. Face the Fury. Now this is his Carolina barbecue sauce. Now it comes in these nice tall glass bottles. It says this is 260 grams. All right, let me go ahead and read a little bit about this. Um, it says, the cobra is one of nature's most exquisite predators, graceful and majestic. An encounter with one will change your life dramatically. Similarly, cobra chili is one of nature's most exquisite pleasures. With its unique blend of ingredients and expertise, one encounter will change your cul culinary life dramatically. Well, that is true. So go on. Face the Fury. Now on the website here, this uh, this was a first place first place winner in the 2014 Mr. Chili Awards in Australia for uh, best uh, barbecue sauce, and it actually was a winner at the 2015 Fiery Food Challenge here in the uh, U.S. at the Zest Fest. So just awesome job on that bond. Now it says this is a perfect fusion of four sauces is the best way to describe this sauce. Barbecue sauce, tomato sauce, chili sauce, and mustard. There's no other sauce like it. It's like a barbecue in a bottle. Fresh tomato, garlic, and onion cooked on the barbecue with a hint of sweet a smoke flavor from soy, molasses, and Worcestershire. Make a velvety smooth sauce that goes perfectly well on anything barbecued and with bacon and eggs. This sauce has just the right amount of heat for the chili heads to with the unmistakable smoking Ed's Carolina Reapers. All right, well, let me go ahead and read the ingredients and then we'll get into this. We start off with fresh tomato, sugar, malt vinegar, which contains barley and wheat. And then we've got fresh Carolina Reaper chilies. Now, 5%. Garlic, spices, onions, Worcestershire sauce. Now, the reason Worcestershire sauce is so good to me anyway, it's got two ingredients that I love, and that's uh, fish sauce. Uh, you know, or anchovies, you know, a fish sauce and tamarind uh, extract. That's why it's just incredible. Um, and you will find it in a lot of barbecue sauces. Then we've got the molasses, mustard powder, sea salt, and citric acid. All right. Now this has a, uh, a nice consistency to it. It's not too thick, not too thin. It's got a nice, deep, dark, rich color to it. Now, this is where it gets good, guys. When you s smell this stuff, ugh, man, it is just incredible. It smells uh, like it's, uh, like he said, I believe he cooked the tomato, the garlic, and the onion, cooked it on the barbecue. Because it's got an awesome, smoky, natural smoky, not an artificial smoke, but a natural barbecue smokiness to it. Not overpowering at all. It doesn't smell too uh, sticky sweet or anything like that. But just very, very savory. I love the smoke uh, aroma on this. You can smell the tomatoes. You can smell that kind of the mustard. You can smell the, the sweetness a little bit from the molasses. But the garlic and the onions and um, tomatoey goodness is just really coming through. Wow, man, it is just awesome. Okay, this is what it looks like. Look at that. Pour is really nice. It's got a little bit of a, um, maybe a little grittiness or a little bit of substance to it, which I don't really mind, but here we go. Mm. Wow. Right away, it's got a little bit of heat, but this is a sauce that tastes exactly like it smells. You get that nice, smoky barbecue um onion, garlic, tomato flavor. And just like he says, you know, the best way to describe it, it's like the, flair, the, the flavors on this are layered in such a way that it is not like any barbecue sauce that I've tasted before, like like the uh, tomatoey, sticky, sweet um, barbecue sauces here in the States. This is really unique. Um, I, I believe what he says when he says, like, if you get the barbecue sauce flavor, you get like a tomato sauce, you get a chili sauce because it's spicy. And you get a little bit of that mustard flavored as well. All those flavors are coming through. Uh, it's like you really layered this, Vaughn. 
in such a way that it's really, really good. Um, Reaper heat is in here. You can definitely uh, tell that the, it's got some super hot peppers in here. I think 5% was just perfect. Gives it a nice medium level heat, uh, but without, you know, melting your face off. But uh, just an awesome uh, barbecue flavor on this. Uh, let me show you what I did. I wanted to do something a little bit different with this. And I think this would be awesome just on burgers and hot dogs and uh, grilled meats and pulled pork sandwiches, anything that you'd use a barbecue sauce for. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. And uh, so I decided to uh, have some barbecue uh, salmon. So that's exactly what I did. Had that on top of some brown rice and uh, it was really, really good. So uh, do something like that. Barbecue fish, barbecue salmon. Uh, it is really, really good. So uh, amazing job on this, Vaughn. Another winner in my book. Um, highly recommended. I'll give this a strong 9 out of 10 for flavor. Uh, it deserves it. It is that good. And on heat, um, I give it about, uh, you know, I'm thinking the 4 to 5 category uh, right there in the middle. Gives it a nice medium heat. So I think I'll go with a 5 out of 10 uh, for heat on this one. But uh, incredible flavor. Great job. Everybody check him out. Give him a like on Facebook. The website's CobraChili.com. Link will be down in the description. Vaughn, thank you very much for sending this one. And stay tuned for lots more reviews, guys, uh, even from Cobra Chili. i uh, got several more products to, re to review for Vaughn, so uh, make sure you stay tuned. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.